Hey guys, welcome to my newest video for today. Today's video is going to be my book haul. Um, I actually went a bit insane with the books and um, yeah, it's more than enough to do their own video in. So I figured I would, because the last package I was expecting arrived today, so I thought um, I will do an update now and um, yes because normally I only buy say four to five books a month if I'm in a book buying urge and yeah I bought enough to cover like three months worth of book buying for me um, but anyway I'll get straight into it. Um, I did buy a few Doctor Who books but I'm going to wait until um, I do my next Doctor Who, Doctor Who update, which will probably be at the end of October, next month rather, because um, I want to try and get a couple of um, sets um, and stuff, like action figures and that, but I just have to wait till I have the money to do that, so, um, but yeah, so I'll get again get straight into it and first up I have a couple of fandom related books and I have Charmed The Power of Three this is the first book in the Charmed novels and I think it is basically um like the um, novelization of the first episode because yeah, I'm pretty, just from the back, it sounds like it's, um, yeah, the book version of the first episode, um, because I do really like Charmed, and, um, particularly the first three seasons, um, and I have actually been wanting to get the novels for a while, so I just picked this up off eBay, because it was cheap, and, yeah, so, that's the power of three. And then I also added to my Star Trek novels collections and I got the Entropy Effect. I'm not too sure how you're supposed to say it. Um, this is from the original series. It's the second one because I've had the movie novelization of the first movie forever and thought it was high time I added to um, the series. Um, I I think I've read the, or at least most of the um, novel version. It's been ages, but um, it's just yeah. This the premise sounds really interesting, um, like time travel, <laughs> spot going back in time. Yeah, it sounds like a really like interesting premise. So yeah, can't wait to read this. That's the en entropy effect. <clears throat> and then I, because I ordered a couple, or a few books rather, from Amazon UK. And the first one, um, I got the Perks of Being a Wallflower, because I've heard nothing but great things about this book. And because they're filming the movie adaptation that has Emma Watson in it and I'm really intrigued to check that out when it comes out so um, I just thought that um, yeah I would get it and read it um, whenever I manage to do that because yeah I've got too many books to read um, but yeah, I'm quite excited to check this one out. So that's the perks of being a wallflower. And I actually got quite a few um, young adult fiction. Um, I don't normally tend to buy young adult. Um, like if I do, but um, after seeing some people's reviews on YouTube and like um, with the book updates and everything I thought some of them sounded really interesting and I wanted to check them out and the first one is the 
Mortal Instruments Book 1, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Um, I don't really know too much about this. Um, obviously, I've heard of Cassandra Clare. Um, I actually... Because um, it kind of took a while to connect, like... Like, I had an... Um, thought of it for a while but I completely forgot she actually wrote the um, very secret diaries from Lord of the Rings the fan fiction and I remember really liking that series um so I actually went back the other week to read them and um yeah so but um I do know a lot of people like this series so I want to um try it and see what it's like so yeah, that's City of Bones. And then I got a book I normally wouldn't have um, thought to check out, but I picked up Beauty Queens because, um, again, all the reviews on this that I've um, heard have been great, um, and it actually sounds pretty interesting as well. Um, so it's... it's a, my case, I think it's like a satire type, um, from what I understand, and, um, it's like, obviously, beauty queens, um, they're traveling, I think, it's like they're traveling to a pageant, and their plane crashes on a deserted island, and, um, yeah, <laughs> so, um, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing, to reading this, so, Yep, that's Beauty Queens. And then I also picked up Divergent by Veronica Roth. Um, again, know nothing about it, just aside from it being a dystopian sci-fi. And I do actually um, like that like genre. Um, well, sci-fi in general, but, um, yeah, again, I've heard nothing but great things about this book, and I love this cover, it is just gorgeous, um, and I don't know if it's picking up here, but it's all shiny, and I love shiny things, <laughs> um, yeah, I had to pick this up, and, um, so I don't know when I'm going to get around to reading all of these things because I'm supposed to be um, finishing up uni work so I can get that in before I um, so I can graduate at the end of the year. But um, yeah, I because it's I well I have been reading but um, some points but yeah I just don't have time and I keep getting distracted and. Yeah, I'm, I'm rambling on this, but um, Divergent, really excited to check this out, so, um, shiny, so that's that. And then I also picked up the Emerald Atlas, um, the book's the beginning. I saw, um, like, I know the readables, um, I can't think of um, her name, sorry, um, but sh um, the channel, I know she really liked this, so um, that made me want to go and check it out, so um, I was actually quite excited when I found it um, in the store, so, but um, yeah, so, and again, this is a really great cover, it's, it's like, it's so, um, I love the embossed in here, but, um, yep, so that's the Emerald Atlas. And then, um, the next one I was, ex I'm extremely excited to have in my collection. Um, I don't know how many of um, you guys use Live Journal, but, um, there is a community on there called Movies in 15 Minutes and um, it's created by Cleo Linda 
Jones, I think that's how you say her name. Um, essentially what it is, is, um, basically it's like all these different types of movies and she writes them, it's like, it's a parody, um, and it condenses it to basically 15, like 15 minutes, hence the title, and, because she's like done them for like Twilight, Harry Potter, Phantom of the Opera, um, all these different ones, and it's just hilarious, um, I, especially the Harry Potter and Twilight ones, um, I think, just think of the parody, um, it's actually, Prisoner of Azkaban is probably my favourite one out of the parodies, um, if you haven't, um, checked them out, I recommend going to this, uh, this community, but, um, because also it's, she wrote a book, that um, came out quite a few years ago, and um, I had to get this of eBay because, um, but yeah, it was because um, I wasn't actually expecting to find anywhere that had it, and I found it on one of a few actually a few sellers had it, but. Um, and I got it for a pretty decent price and yeah so basically um, the movies in here are Braveheart, Gladiator, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Independence Day, Jurassic Park, The Lord of the Rings, all three and probably in a bit more than 15 minutes. The Matrix, Spider-Man, Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones and Titanic. I've sort of already read the Titanic one which I loved. Um, and I've read bits and pieces of Harry Potter and Star Wars, but yeah, it's, they're just really great reads, um, because I'll just, with the, um, like, excerpts, this is from scenes from A Lone Expected Party, The Lord of the Rings, and then it's, where is it, Sam, oh Rosie, you're so pretty tonight, I wish I were brave enough to dance with her. Frodo, oh Sam, you and your comical attempts at het heterosexuality. And then, um, there's like these scenes, it's Bilbo, and then the trolls couldn't decide whether to boil us alive, seasoned only by our lives, seasoned only by our own screams, or to break our bones and suck the gory marrow. And then they said, hey, let's do both. So they stuffed us in a sack with rabid zombie badgers who started ch chewing on both his head and kids oh. sorry about the thing. and then it's like kids run away screaming don't know what happened and then it's um, Gandalf does his part to terrify the children with exploiting butterflies and later a jig I, yeah. I probably didn't do that justice but it is really hilarious um and yeah so that is movies in 15 minutes and then for the last few um i picked up or ordered rather um this is in the package that arrived today um, it is V for Vendetta, the graphic novel by Alan Moore, and I've been wanting to pick this up for ages because um, I've seen the movie and I love it. Um, one of my favourite movies. So, yeah, you know, I just. And this is also the first graphic novel I've gotten because there's actually quite a few that I want to pick up. So, and so yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to um, giving this a proper read and um, yeah, and hopefully you get some more of graphic novels. So that's that. And then for the last two, um, they're both complete works. And first is The Complete Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. Um, I just, yeah, I, I've only ever read The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. I haven't read any of the others, even though I've seen the first two movies, um, and 
I was browsing on Amazon UK and I came across this edition and I had to have it even though I'm really annoyed that the edges of the dust jacket are all banged up but I don't want to take off the dust jacket because it is gorgeous and yeah so I just that's not going to work so um this is what the inside looks like um so and it's yeah it's really gorgeous and um have to do a proper read of these so um yeah it's really happy with this but um, that's the complete Chronicles of Narnia, and the one that I was particularly excited about. Um, I saw it in TV critic Amy's one of her hauls, and she had this, and she said it was on sale, and basically that made me have to go and um, check it out. And I'm talking about the complete works of William Shakespeare. Um, just how gorgeous is this edition um, yeah I've been wanting to get a complete works um, like William Shakespeare for ages because um, I do actually quite enjoy Shakespeare even though I've only ever read Romeo and Juliet and Macbeth which were, I read for high school several years ago <laughs> um, like year nine and ten years ago, so um, yeah, and this is just simply amazing. It's leather bound, so it's just that, and the edges are gold, and it has a little ribbon, except not game enough to try doing it one hand. And yeah, and that's what. So, yeah, this is what it looks like with the text, and yeah, so you have as you like it. So, yeah, absolutely amazing this set, and then, yeah, as I said really happy to have it so um I don't know when I'm going to read these but um I'm just glad to have it in my collection and um this was what I was most excited about as I've mentioned and um yeah <laughs> so that is it for um this haul book haul um yeah I told you I went a little insane <laughs> same with the books um so the next one probably won't be as big um whenever that'll be but um I'm quite happy with the pickups that I've got so that is over here so um that is it and until my next video I will see you guys next time bye